On this assignment, we are going to be doing something called completing the view. And what you're given is a bunch of different views for objects, and you're given the top, the front, and the right side view. Only the top three have a given isometric to help you figure out what the item's supposed to be. And you're going to look at the views and decide if one or two or even all three need to add object lines in order to complete the view. Sometimes you're adding hidden lines. Um, so this one's a little bit different than the ones that we've done before. So I'm going to start off and do a couple of them with you and then you will have time to do the rest as your assignment for this virtual day. So what I'm looking at in my first assignment here, my first box, is the isometric and I've given the front view and the right side view. So those two are complete by looking at the object so all I have left to do is complete the top view. Anytime there is a change in direction, a change in shape, you will have an object line. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is translate that line straight up with a construction weight line and then I'm going to darken in my object line. Okay, this view is done. They've given me my top and my front view complete on number two, but my right side view is incomplete. However, my usual 45 degrees from the top right corner is not going to work because they did not space these views evenly between. So what we're going to do instead is a different trick. We're going to use construction weight lines and we're going to transfer the edge, like the top and the bottom most lines from the top view, over. Then I'm going to take the boundary lines for my side view and transfer those up. And then connect the two. Now you guys can see probably that I've done this before, but I was having camera issues so I had to erase and try again. But now I have my 45 degree angle there. At this point we use that 45 just like we would with a regular orthographic drawing. We transfer the information over and where it hits the 45, we drop it straight down. And any information from the front view. And then we darken in our object lines. Okay. So the last one that I want to do with you, I'll let you figure out number three. But I want to show you number four real quick because this one kind of makes it a little bit more difficult because looking at number four, I'm missing lines on the top and the side view. What I'm seeing here is that I have two rectangles, okay? And it's like two books that are sitting next to each other, but one of them slightly smaller. So what I'm going to be doing there is I'm going to be completing the views by drawing the second object line on the side view and then the second one on the top view. Okay, so this small rectangular object is sitting in front of this rectangular object and now we can see it here and here. This assignment requires a little bit of extra thought. Okay, you're going to have to project lines. You might have to extend lines like on number 11 and number 15. That one makes you stop and think. So take your time. Don't rush it. Double check that you've done every box and really try to get a picture of these items in your mind as you're drawing your orthographic views.